energy drinks and caffeine. You might think they're giving you a boost of energy, but it's not quite what it seems. So let's break it down. Imagine your energy is like a phone battery. When you're feeling tired, it's like your battery is running low. Now, energy drinks and caffeine are like a quick charge for your phone. It seems like you're getting more energy, but it's not a real lasting boost. When you consume caffeine, it quickly makes its way into your bloodstream and heads straight for the brain. It blocks a neurotransmitter called adenosine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Adenosine is usually responsible for making you feel sleepy. So with adenosine out of the way, other neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine they get a chance to shine. So they're like an energetic duo, making you feel more alert and focused. But here's the catch. It's not creating new energy. It's just putting a temporary lid on tiredness. Think of it like borrowing energy from tomorrow. You might feel super alert now, but it's not creating new energy. So it's just masking your tiredness for a while and making you feel more tired later. Plus, too much caffeine can lead to problems. It can mess with your sleep, make you jittery, give you heart palpitations, make you anxious, and even cause headaches for some people. So relying on it for energy isn't the best idea. And I get it. Everyone enjoys a cup of coffee from time to time, the taste, the smell. But if you are someone who is feeling fatigue often and wants to boost their energy, or someone who is feeling anxious more often than normal, experiment with not having that coffee every day and just see how you feel. Real energy comes from good habits, getting enough sleep, eating healthy, and staying active. These are like charging your phone overnight so it lasts the whole day. The next time you reach for that energy, remember it's like a temporary solution. Instead, focus on habits that truly boost your energy for the long run.